Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Does everybody have your coffee? Are you ready to <clears throat> hang out with me while I paint? I wonder if anybody paints while they're watching. That would be kind of fun. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sandy. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <clears throat> Hi, Nancy. How are you guys? Anita, thanks for your note. Ellen. <clears throat> and Sherry. So, I think we're going to do one more ornament. I couldn't quite decide this morning, but I feel like doing one more. I mean, I can't ship them anymore because they always need to dry for a few weeks. Anita's making her coffee. I have a cold, Ellen. Oh, I think I just got it yesterday. Hi, Julie. It's 5 a.m. Boy, you're ambitious getting up at 5 a.m. I love that. Just to watch me paint. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I call a little cold, so I think I need to go get emergency or something because <clears throat> I don't have time for cold right now. So I will turn this around. I think we'll do this pink fuchsia ornament. It's so fun, isn't it? So we really haven't even gotten our ornaments out yet, <clears throat> but I'm hoping that I... Tokyo? What time is it in Tokyo? Are you like at a completely different time of the day? I would think so. <clears throat> hi, Karen. Susie. Hi, Susie. How are you? <clears throat> okay. So today I'm playing with a different um, <clears throat> white oil paint. I keep not really finding a white paint that I like. And I was, I was shopping the other day online and I remembered that a long time ago I used to use this Promalva. It's a big, big white tube of paint, of oil, white oil paint. So I'm gonna try it today and see what I think of it. I put some out of my palette. I had to clean my palette this morning because it was really messy. <clears throat> so let's get started. <clears throat> you can see okay. So excuse me if I sound like uh, the sniffles, because I'm sure I will. I don't know where the cold came from. I don't think I was around anyone who had a cold, but you know how that happens. It's kind of nice. Okay. So are you guys all ready for the holidays or feeling overwhelmed? I'm still feeling a little overwhelmed. I really haven't even done a lot of <clears throat> what I need to do to get ready, but... Um, my husband actually does a lot of the real prep work for Christmas itself, but I still need to do shopping and decorating and because we have a lot, a lot of people that come to our house <clears throat> Christmas day. ornaments have been fun. Maybe I should try. Someone had mentioned maybe trying to paint glass bottles. I could do that after the holidays. Ellen says, would love for you to put canvas high to avoid words getting wet. Thanks, Ellen. It keeps like this thing like is doing that. So let me see what I can do. Maybe I can bend the whole arm. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Yes, you guys tell me when things like that are happening because I'll push it back a little bit. Oh, I wanted to show you these things too before I start. You know, I was working on the tiny bird paintings to make ornaments. I only got four done, but I think I am gonna post them for sale, but look, I put them on this little tree. Aren't they adorable? They're in like a little, they're in a little um, glass thing and I have it signed with the date on the back. And they're real original oil paintings in there. I don't know that they're necessarily worth the time that they take, but oh my gosh, I think they're just adorable. So I have four of them. I'm going to try and get them posted up for sale in the next day or two. But next year, I'll make a whole bunch more. I just have to start, you know, like in July instead of trying to do everything in December. It's hard to do it when you don't feel in the, in the spirit of it. But that's how all people who do like um, <clears throat> most things like uh, licensing and stuff, they all work at a different time of the year. I just have to get used to it. Aren't they cute, Anita? <clears throat> so I'm just like using a 
like the darker. I'm using, um, oh, what am I using? I'm using magenta now a little bit. It's we're in the darker areas. The trick is going to be to keep this nice and simple because it, it is very simple. And the hard, hardest part, I think, is keeping the ball looking round. That's really tricky. But when it's not perfect, that's what gives it its personality, right? Yep. I need a little yellow in here, I think. The other... Hi, Lou. <clears throat> the other day, I was doing... Um, what did I paint? And I made it really... I made a real mess. Like, I just let all kinds of mess happen. What was that? Gosh, I already forget what I painted. That was so much fun. I should do it with this. Maybe I'll make a mess with this. <clears throat> Yes, acrylic. Oh, it's yes. Thank you for answering. Yes, oil. You know I don't see all the comments. It's hard. It's hard to for me to uh, watch and paint, but only really hard when I'm in the middle of. Uh, you know that when I'm really concentrating, then I stop talking. I'll make background this fun blue that I love. Maybe I'll make the background different colors. Because that's all, you know, it doesn't matter if I mess it up. What's the worst thing can happen? I let it dry and paint over in another day. That's the fun thing about art is that it's not a commitment. Like at my real job, the devil is in the details. And in art, what is with... <laughs> shipping and stuff but and that's one of my challenges keeping all that organized is not it's not uh doesn't come easy for me I hear everyone moving around upstairs we got um some snow last night just a dusting but enough to make it a nuisance this morning <clears throat> oh, what color blue are you using for the background? So this this top blue that I had up here is um oh that's really dark is a um Kim think of your words <laughs> it's manganese blue hue which I love and then this blue down here then I kind of mixed a little bit of ultramarine into it it's an awfully dark um, shadow that's okay. Lighten it later. <clears throat> I clean had to clean my whole palette off this morning. It was everything was dry on it. I kept it's one of those things, you know, like that you postpone until the very last minute. And then I knew I couldn't paint with you guys watching with my palette in the array, disarray that it was in. So I cleaned it off this morning. Then I thought I could have just waited. And instead of doing a whole painting, I could have, like, cleaned off and set up my palette. Is that something you would like to watch me do? Or would that be super boring? I mean, it's not very exciting. But I did have that thought that it might be a, something to do. <clears throat> They sh should be by the back door. Uh, uh. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, set up. Okay, all right. Everything's learning. Good, Nancy. All right, that's what I'll do. Next time I'm cleaning this off, maybe we'll just oing it and do that. I like learning other people's systems too. Like I, when I have a chance, I, I love spending my time learning new things. Like I've been, it was something I've been wanting to do. And I started learning from Teela Cunningham is her name. And she, oh, well, Isabel, I think did dad wipe my car off? Did he get, take my keys? 
All right, hold, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, you know, it's that first snowstorm, and like Isabel does not have a scraper in her car. So that's what she's looking for in my car. And my husband's gone. He left for school. And I think my other daughter's gone. And there indeed might not be a scraper in my car because we never had that car in the winter yet. It's our first winter. So. I guess I could tell her the old trick of the credit card. All right, thanks, Anita. <laughs> Very normal, yes. Feel right at home with the craziness of not... Oops, there's a little bit of stuff coming off there. I'll have to check on her again, I think. It's that lesson of get up early, because you never know. <clears throat> I need some new RNF pigment sticks. I sort of hope Santa brings me a few of these. Pretty doubtful, but you never know. Maybe we need to make a thing, you know, like the Ipsy bag. You know where you get the makeup to try, little samplers of all different kinds of makeup to try. We need to do that with art supplies. Would that not be so much fun? Yeah, I should tell her that, Ellen. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. back. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys must think I'm crazy. <clears throat> Dawn, my sister Dawn's on. So Isabel didn't have a scraper in her car and she's got to get to school and everybody's gone and I have the newest car so I don't have a nice scraper either. Okay, does anyone, what kind of medium she uses at this point? I just use um, Zested. This is a medium. And it's just for this transparent base layer, and then I don't use any um, after that. So I couldn't find Isabel, so she'll figure it out, I guess. <clears throat> crazy morning already. And I know work's gonna be crazy today, too. That's okay, it's better than being bored, right? That's in here. That's I think that's actually my reflection in here. Taking the photo. <clears throat> it's funny to notice because I'm all I'm in all of these paintings somewhere, right? <clears throat> um, what else do I want to do? I need now. I'm kind of lost my focus. Oh, Brian Rutenberg. I love his videos. I also was just listening to um, a podcast uh, called Learn to Paint Podcast. Has anyone heard of that? Do you guys listen to podcasts while you're painting? Um, I really enjoyed it. it uh, they talk more about, you know, actual techniques and how people go about doing everything. And um, I'm thinking about, I might get to be on the podcast. I don't know how I would do with that, but I think it would be a fun thing to try to be interviewed. 
<clears throat> think I'd be able to do that. He's so good. Thank oh, yes, I know. I love listening. I could just binge watch that when I have nothing going on. Learn to Paint is wonderful. I agree, Lou. So, guys, check it out. Do you guys watch podcasts? Isabel, did you figure it out? Yes? Okay. That looks like a happy mess, doesn't it? So anyway, I was saying, what was I saying? That I'm doing, um, I don't remember if it was something I paid for. It wasn't a lot if I did, but it's Tila Cunningham, and she does a lot of hand letter, free hand lettering and stuff. And um, <clears throat> I am doing a class on um, intro to uh, Procreate, which is a program that you use on your iPad. It's kind of like Photoshop, but you actually draw with the eye pencil. And uh, I really am enjoying it. I think because I'm actually have I actually have something in my hand that I'm drawing with. That makes it so much more fun than you know sitting in a computer with a mouse. That just isn't doesn't feel the same to me. You know what I mean? Do any of you guys do that at work? Sit sit at a computer all day like I do. Oh, forgot one color here. <clears throat> Put it here. Okay. So now we'll mix colors. So let's look at this. <clears throat> There's some blues and purples, some orangey red in there. Shadow looks like there's a little glow of blue or purple underneath here, and then it goes more brownish black below. And then, of course, the highlights and the bright pinks. And I'm not sure if that pink is a pink mixed with permanent rose or with magenta, so we're going to try both. Okay, <clears throat> down here to my clean ish palette. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got a new palette knife. <laughs> I hope I love it. <clears throat> I did have to buy a few more panels. I ran out and I'm getting ready. I have to have things for an art show at the end of January. And I need to photograph and let them know what I'm going to have in the art show. It's at Notre, Notre Dame at Villanova. You mentioned the Lonely Palette one week. And I've been, yes, they're so, I'm going to, um, do you want me to make a list of my favorite podcasts? I should do that. <clears throat> I love um, finding out new things. Oh, this palette knife is so much better than my crooked one. Oh, my goodness. I was not happy with my crooked palette knife. Not at all. <clears throat> now, this is magenta. I mixed it with... Um, <clears throat> I love this radiant... Um, Radiant Magenta by Gamblin. And... All right. Oh, what are you guys saying yes to? I forget. Did I ask something? Oh, a list of podcasts. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to write myself a note. <laughs> Just remind me. Will someone remind me to do that? <clears throat> Maybe I'll do it in my newsletter. Do you guys all get my newsletter? I could post it in, in my newsletter because <clears throat> I do love a lot of them. Um, does everyone get my newsletter? If you don't, go to my website or here on Instagram and sign up for it. Um, palette knives. This is just a real basic palette knife. I don't... Oh, it says Creative Mark. See it there? Creative Mark. And I like that. I wanted a smallish one. I, I had... Uh, there's there's actually a uh, <clears throat> website of palette knives that um, I wanted to try, um, but right now, the name is eluding me right now. I'll see if I can figure it out. Oops. Um, <clears throat> so that's something I'm still exploring and learning about, and I'll do it with my radiant magenta. Did you get my reds list? I um did the next my color pat my color journey. I had done um <clears throat> my favorite blues PDF 
And then I just did my favorite reds. Did everyone get that? If not, it's available. Um, I think on my website, I can't remember if I linked it to my, uh, did I link it to my Instagram link tree thing? I'm not sure I should check. Or did everyone already get that? <clears throat> I can run and show, show you my little chart that's in it of my reds because a lot of these reds are reds that I'm using right now are on my chart. Where did I put it? <clears throat> so this is in my PDF. And I mixed like um, that's magenta. Um, this is um, permanent rose. I think this is transparent red. No, this is probably vermilion. Trans I should write it on here, my goodness. And then I mixed it with with um, different colors. Can I get that far enough away for you to see it? So it shows you. I should look at that and see what I'm looking for. And these over here, magentas, go much more purple. It's cool, though. <clears throat> so if you can't find it, let me know. Um, which brand of paint is consistently good? Oh, I'm not finished doing my mixings here. Um, I would say if you're kind of just starting out, I think the Gamblin and the and um, Windsor Newton from, at, you can just get them at Michael's are good. <clears throat> Yes, Julie, color charts are fun. <clears throat> you inspired me with your color chart of that brown color. Now I use it all the time. I never even tried it before. Do I have it here somewhere? Julie had done a ch color chart and was talking about her love for... Where's the color? This. Is this the brand that you use? Raw Umber. And I now I've been adding Raw Umber into a lot of my color mixes. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm making kind of a darker color from that dark area. It definitely has some blue in it. I need some more plain blue. Sandy needs color color names. Oh. Um, wait. I have, I think it's still on my website, a list of my favorite paints. <clears throat> and that would show you colors. You kind of just need a warm and a cool of, um, you know, a warm. So here I have a warm and a cool. I have purple here, but I have magenta, which is cool and permanent rose. And then I, this is like my, my light radiant magenta. I have a warm Indian yellow and a cool yellow. <clears throat> I just have sap green there because I knew I didn't need much green, but I often have a warm and a cool green too. And then right here, I just used it up. I have um, ultramarines warm. I actually don't have, I guess this is a cool blue, um, manganese blue hue. And I love this color too. I've been playing around with this as a mixer color. And it's Rembrandt, um, <clears throat> King's Blue. And then my little, this, I need more of this. For Christmas, my Vasari video blue extra pale, and then I have the the brown and oh, just a little bit of black there. <clears throat> um, so <clears throat> I ran out of made me a little reddish, orangish red. This is transparent red. I put some of that out, and I'm out of. <clears throat> I keep bumping you, sorry. <clears throat> I have to be careful too. I'm in a dress today because I have a client meeting for lunch. <clears throat> so do any of you guys paint while I'm painting? <clears throat> I think, do I have a good start? I think I need to mix this with a little bit of Indian yellow. <clears throat> I think that's a good start. <clears throat> All right, coming back up here. Is that good? It's 
good as long as I don't bump it, right? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I like to put in some of my darker colors in the beginning. With a kitty in your lap. That's nice, Lonnie. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> All right, I have this out. Yeah, so I still feel like I'm not quite keeping up with all the things I need to get done, but that's okay. It all gets done in good time. <clears throat> and every day I'm learning. Leave a little bit of that bright blue in here. And when you really look <clears throat> at a at a photograph or a real thing, I need I need to also paint from real life more. Um it's amazing what you see in it when you really look at it. <clears throat> you know, we're always all in such a hurry that we don't stop and really look at things I think I don't anyway I'm guilty of that for sure I'm always a mile ahead of myself <clears throat> hi Carol how are you Fades into that. Carol, you're going to a workshop. My gosh, that sounds like fun. Completely envious. What are you learning? The workshop. I have to figure out when I'm going to do my next workshop. I can't decide where to do it. I need ideas. I can't do it in New Hope again, but that it was really hard to displace <clears throat> my friend's whole office to do it there. Um, but it was gorgeous. But just, I have to find a way when I do it not to like work the day before the day after the <laughs> workshop weekend because it's exhausting. Come to Dallas. I might be open to that. That sounds like fun. I may go to Canada. Julie, do you still want me to come up there in the spring? <clears throat> Be awfully fun. Wisconsin. I've never been to Wisconsin. I've never been to Dallas. I haven't been a lot of places. Ellen in March. Okay, and Julie says yes. Or Nashville. I gotta go all at well, I won't have any time to go to work. Hmm. You know what I didn't mix was this white, this white color, but that's okay. We'll we'll work on that in a little bit. Well, wouldn't that be fun? I think it would be fun. I do get homesick sometimes when I'm away from home too much, but I think I'd adjust. <laughs> Ohio. Ohio's not too far. Minnesota. I love just saying the word Minnesota. Minnesota. Is that vibrant enough? What do you think? I'm not sure. Michigan. <clears throat> So when I'm painting this, I'm thinking about not thinking about what I think I see, but really looking at what what I see, which is odd assortment of colors for sure. Maybe I had to do a little bit more of my background. 
because sometimes that helps me um, know where to go. Quinacridone. Yes, should I try that, Julie? I think I do have that. That's a great idea. <clears throat> Let me look for that. That is a fabulous idea, and I'm pretty sure I have it. it might not be Windsor Newton. Here, I'll get my reds. You can watch me dig. <laughs> my friend Dee laughs when I go in my bucket looking for colors. So I'm looking for quinacridone magenta, which is like permanent row. Rose, and I think it might be just what there's violet, violet quinacridone. <clears throat> this brilliant pink by Michael Harding could leave that out because <clears throat> sometimes you know you can kind of mix most colors with the prime with you know the warm and cool of everything, but it's, sometimes you need a certain color, especially with reds. That's magenta, quinacridone red. That could work, maybe. I don't know if I have quite there's orange in my bucket. Anita says, what color are you using in the background? The top layer. Oh, it's it's this one that I love. I use this a lot. Video blue extra pale. It's Vasari. <clears throat> Is this it? Nope, that's just another magenta. I don't really have quinacridone. I got a lot of permanent roses. You can prop. Oh, this is pretty, isn't it? Well, I thought I did, Julie, but I guess I don't have that color. So I'm gonna have to remember to get that. I could try the quinacridone red and see what I get. Why don't I do that? <clears throat> Because that one color is just a little flat or something. Let's try this. Let's see what it looks like. Quinacridone magenta. Let's mix this with some white. That's similar to permanent rose, but it is a little warmer. That's not it. Let me put a little bit more in. <clears throat> A little bit of tiny little bit of purple in there. Okay, that was a good suggestion, but I need to get quinacridone magenta. <clears throat> what time is it? 7:34. We're still good on time. I'm getting my paper towels. Okay, <clears throat> I could use this bigger brush for my background. Oh, oh, did I get, no, I didn't get brown in it. Okay, good. So this, when I put this on top, it just kind of mixes with that, whatever's underneath it, which is really fun. I'm getting paint all over this side of my panel, but then I just go back with my gold again and clean it up. Can you hear me holding my breath? 
to the top. Oh, it's this. It's Pasari Video Blue Extra Pale. Putting on top. <clears throat> May I go a little more white down here at the bottom. shadows under there of the um <clears throat> it's pretty white right there paper towels thanks Julie Julie said my background's interesting and attractive I think it's just it's even more fun when I add more colors into the background and just let it happen so messy or do I <laughs> I like things that are a little messy <clears throat> whoops I think I finished my big donut painting I have it hanging in my living room living with it for a while ready to go to the gallery in Philly, <clears throat> which is fun. <clears throat> All right, I got to go to a smaller brush now. <clears throat> When you calm, yes, calming, that's a good way of putting it. When you calm the background, it does make a big difference. It, it makes it look a lot more dimensional. When there's a lot going on in the background, your eyes, I guess, dance all over the place. I love color so much. Sometimes I forget about the pause, too. Like, you have to, you know, use, I love to use color, but then you need to have places, too, where, where it's not, there's not so much going on so that in places where there is, it can really sing. That's something I'm still learning. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> Lots of breath holding going on. How do I choose my reference? Um, I would say my references. Uh, <laughs> it's terrible. It's silly sounding, but I'd say my reference is usually just stuff that I have around. Like it's Christmas now, and I keep seeing ornaments, so I take photos of them, and I have lots to pick from right now. Um, that's why I like to do flowers in the springtime. It's just... I think more about what I have in my life that I can easily get. Because I only paint before I go to work in the morning. So I don't have, like, a lot of... Time is so precious that I don't have a lot of time to, like, really 
waste thinking about like, oh, what am I going to paint? I usually decide that in like two minutes. <clears throat> you do the light and dark, dull and bright intuitively. Yes, Ellen, I try to. Sometimes I do have to stop and think about that. But um, <clears throat> my mentor, you know, when I ask him questions like that, he always just says, just, just follow your intuition. Don't think about it so much. And it is good advice because that's when I think the magic happens, when you trust your intuition and let things happen without fussing with it too much. Never easy, though. Trust your gut. Kind of crazy reflections in there. Oh, my mentor is a, a guy named Stephen Brehm, B-R-E-H-M. He's not really on social media, <clears throat> but um, you can look him up on his website. He does gorgeous landscapes, and he lives right near me. And his girlfriend is actually my yoga instructor. Um, so I've known him for a while, quite some time. And he, I borrowed, um, when I went and did all the outdoor art shows this past year, I borrowed his old tent to do that. He does outdoor art. That's how he does most of his business. He's been doing it for a long time. He's just a really great guy. And it is good to have, you know, a mentor, have someone you can ask questions about things. And, and he's been terrific for, to me. Huh, I don't know. I think I need to do some of this. <clears throat> That's much darker down here than I'm getting it. <clears throat> will you please share this video on YouTube? Yes, I will. The only my videos are always up on YouTube unless I accidentally lose them in my haste to get to work. But I will be super careful today and get it up there. As soon as I can. I have a busy day today. <clears throat> but I will do my best. And you can also find them on my website. <clears throat> Does it look dimensional? What do you think? Um, I think this is too light down here. <clears throat>
Hmm. <clears throat> I think I need a smaller brush to do some of my little details. I'm going to pull my sleeves up so I don't mess my dress up. But you just sneeze. Excuse me. All right, maybe not. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe not. I can't sneeze while I'm doing this, so I wanted to sneeze before I started. <laughs> Sneezing and detail work do not go well together. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm holding my breath. I'm not talking. <clears throat> Oops. <clears throat> it's funny, I feel like I'm this is backwards. <clears throat> No, thank you. I was seeing to lay my hand in my background. <laughs> yes, I know, Carol. It's hard to keep your hand out of, out of trouble. Let's just say that, right? <clears throat> it's hard to keep your hand out of where it shouldn't be. I need one of those mall sticks, I guess, that you prop yourself on. Oh, my shadows. Da -da -da -da. Uh, that looks a little confusing or something in there, doesn't it? That was messy. <coughs> you always take the same brushes, the same size canvas. Uh, kind of, yeah, I use these same three brushes. And even when I paint large, I have not found larger brushes that I love that are the same feel as these, which is just crazy. Um, I'm still researching that too. Getting there. <clears throat> I think so. Like I want some of this detail, the texture, but not so much that it's um, distracting. 
but I want it to have that feel of having glitter on there. And I like that, like here I have some crazy blue showing through, some other colors that kind of unexpected fun. Wouldn't it be fun to be a kid and go to elementary school today and have the art cart come down the hall and get out the glitter and just play? I'm sure you guys probably all enjoyed that just as much as I did being in school. <clears throat> the art cart. I loved when I would hear that. We didn't have an, a dedicated art room in elementary school. It was just this big cart. Oh, I did like the white paint. It seemed to have, I wasn't frustrated with, with the, um, the, how thick or thin it was. Mm. Yeah, I think I liked the white paint. I wonder if that blue over there, does that work? <gasps> Carol, you got to walk around and do the art cart. Oh my goodness. Lucky you. Oh, I love that. You're the art cart art teacher. That is so much fun. It's my favorite part of the week. No doubt about it. <clears throat> Am I finished? What do you guys think? P Pam, you too? You have the art cart. <clears throat> um, what type of light do I... Oh, my goodness. Well, that's a good question. I have these... Um... Oh, wait. Let me think here. Does it look... Does it look like it's the right shape? Does it look like, you know what it looks like? No, wait, I need to finish this thought because sometimes the littlest thing, which is just totally not important. Um, where's, my, where's my brush that I was using? Here it is. Here it is. I <clears throat> would love to see more fuchsia. You want more fuchsia. Yeah, is it too pink? Is that what it is? And I think to this is, no, wait. Not quite shaped right. Let's do some more fuchsia. We have a few more minutes. <clears throat> What's the worst thing I can do? Mess it all up. That's all. <clears throat> And that would not be the end of the world. There's always something else to fuss with, for sure. And I always say that I kind of decide when I'm finished with a painting, when my mind starts to wander and I'm not focused on doing it anymore. When my I'm not thinking about the painting, I'm starting to think about my day. I'm starting to think about what's next. <clears throat> And that's a good judge for me because if, if I'm totally in the zone here and painting and loving every minute of it, it's all good. But once my mind starts to wonder, that's when you kind of start to overwork things or overthink things. <clears throat> Did that help?
think that's good. The glitter's so fun, isn't it? Now wait, is that bottom? That bottom is still not quite right here. This is not quite right. <clears throat> I definitely hold my breath more painting ornaments than anything else. Well, besides people, but I try not to do that too often. Although I'd love to take a class and really learn how to do it. But the commissions I've had to do with people are so challenging. Okay. <clears throat> Huh. I don't know. Still not quite happy with this edge, but I'm going to run out of time. I think I'm good. Don't want to fuss anymore. Oh, do you have your brushes listed with your favorite oil colors? I think I do. And I think it's on my website. If you have trouble finding it, let me know and I'll send, <clears throat> send you my list. I need to refresh it, but <clears throat> that won't happen until the new year. So it's most of my favorites. All right, I'll show it to you close. A poinsettia. Maybe I'll do a poinsettia next, next Wednesday. So there it is, and there's my reference. And there's my ball. So almost right on the nose. Um, thanks guys for coming and watching me paint, hanging out with me. And I am off to work. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks, and I'll post this. Thanks guys, goodbye, bye Jackie. See you later.